Hey everybody, Tom here, the Iron Beast. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting straight into Moon Knight episode 4, The Tomb. Mark and Stephen must find balance as supernatural threats ahead. Look to stop them. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens now about rescuing Konshu. Have they still got their powers? I'm guessing if Konshu's turned to stone, they haven't got any powers. So, you know, how do you get into that place now? Because usually it's a portal that appears. So how do you get there? Where in the world is it? Uh, physically located? Is it in Egypt? Um, how are they going to free Konshu so they can carry on with their mission? It's going to be very interesting. It looks like they've been played in, at every turn uh, by Harrow, which obviously with him being the ex-Avatar of Konshu, he knows how everything works. So yeah, I think he's definitely a formidable opponent as such. But anyway, guys, let's get straight in and see what this is all about. It's so tough. Tell Mark to free me. So obviously Mark has a way or knows how to free him. Does this dude want to destroy it? I'm sure he does. He's crooked. The avatar is crooked. Wow, look at them all. These are all the outcast gods. It's terrible. It's brutal. One thing I can't believe is that even with the modern technology and the way everyone's evolved, the gods are still wandering around thinking people don't know they're real. It's like everyone knows they're real. All in this universe anyway. Uh-oh. It's a bad guy can't have followed them, right? Holy crap. Of course they're gonna check inside. I'll put one in him just to be sure. If they were sent to kill him. She's brave. <laughs> nice. You'd want to take cover while his bullets flying all over the place. This is Steven, right? We can't lose more time. Harrow must be headed back to the tomb. And we're going to need Mark, yeah? Exactly. We made a deal, Mark and I. And when he was done with Konshu, he would disappear for good. And you didn't think that maybe I should have been made aware of that hadn't he disappeared from your life already the suit was his best feature wasn't it didn't even have that anymore Stephen, give me the body right now we're gonna go on foot from here yeah, right. wow <laughs> what a wow here they are hello Let's check for supplies. Without Kanchu, there's no more suit, no more healing, no more power. And if you are going to go through with this, you got to be smart. At least for Layla's sake. You're not alone. I know I'm bloody not alone. I've got Layla. Oh, you're in love with my wife? Get I'll, throw us I'll call you. Off a cliff. That's right, it's off a cliff. Problem, it's not a team. He's a liability, isn't it? If, if he needs Layla to have his back. What have we got here? It's a weapon? It's what we never had. Yeah. You smell like him. Mark's trying to protect you from Konshu. He, he, he thinks Konshu wants you for his avatar and he won't let that happen. Nice. Well. Sorry. I thought you deserved to know. I don't need protection. What I need is honesty. That's more of a you thing, isn't it? Honesty? Being honest. <laughs> She's going to fall from. She's falling from already. I'm gonna go down. Okay. First. Well, yeah. Great. Before I belay. Like, what's, what's belay? Dude, you are not in a good position. <laughs> it's not the best place to be because she needs a teammate, not a liability. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. Guard for centuries. I'm right. So if, if they just sprang to life right now and I shit myself, but I'd be thrilled. <laughs> she loves his norminess. Did you do that? Before my father. Archaeologist on a mission. A dream worth dying for. So you did. 
so sorry. It's a maze. It's amazing. <laughs> no, like there are six paths. Yeah. What would they be shooting at? Horns. It's a symbol. That's the eye of Horus. Yeah. The royal symbol, protection in the afterlife. I mean, like the resources needed to build this. Our final avatar was a pharaoh. Oh, the yeah. bloody pharaoh. His... Representing the six senses, six points. So you got the eyebrow that denotes thought, pupil, sight, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, this point here is uh, hearing, smell, touch, and this is the tongue. The avatar would be Ahmed's voice. They would have been entombed in here to protect the pharaoh. They've been down here for centuries, and these must be some of the unlucky souls that crossed their path. Oh God, is that fresh blood? In a little chunk of sacrifice. <sighs> right, so that's what their tool was. I see lots of bones and blood going that way, and there's an opening up there. You see that? I'm up. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it should be bound to a little shop tea. Those statue thingies. It's like a freshly filled canopic jar. Oh, snake skins and self regeneration thing. Steven. Lots of... Steven, the exit. Yeah. What are they shooting at? Hide, hide. Rachel. What is that? Trying to regenerate itself back to full form is what I'm thinking. Maybe one of the guardians. Don't move. It's obviously after fresh meat. Wicked. Wow. <laughs> He's not a survivor, is he? <laughs> It'll be a pure fluke that he actually survives. No point throwing that down the black hole. Why? It's definitely one hell of an adventure. Oh, shit. No way back. Oh, shit. Are there more of them? Or is it just the same one? Oh, shit. Oh man, she's awesome though. These are the guardians, are they? They still remember how to fight after thousands of years. I'm an get kick it over you. Oh no. Shit, she's a fighter. She is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I like her character. He kissed her. She also told her the truth. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at all these relics. Macedonian? No. What? No way. That's not right. That can't be right. Well, the, the, the only pharaoh... But, but, I mean, he insisted on calling himself Egyptian. I think... Oh, shit. I think we're looking at the long-lost tomb of Alexander the Great. Well, it was a long lost tomb. You handled that beautifully, my little scarab. Isn't that what your father used to call you? One of Egypt's most unique archaeologists. If he knew that you were among the first to confirm for the world, Egyptian gods walk among us. Look at. And your husband, he still hasn't told you the truth? I read his scales. The scales do not lie. What did the scales actually say apart from that he had darkness or chaos? <laughs> wow. Oh man. Where's the Ushab team? So what do you think? Working together, let's go. Cool. Alexander was the voice of our mix. It's in his in his throat. Sorry, Mr. Great. 
<laughs> Sorry, Mr. Great. Holy crap. Oh. Get in there. Your father was murdered by mercenaries. To Max team. You're saying that Mark was one of them? Mark remembers everything that happened that day. But one man stands out. A fuchsia scarf. Scare of details. Made by his daughter, perhaps? Are you done? I do hope you find closure. Sir, we'll just find another way. Gotta hurry up, dude. Oh, is that the stone statue of the goddess? Right. Hey, look, we won. I mean, I had to go digging down old Alexander the Great's gullet, but I found it. What happened to my father? I'm talking to you, Mark. No, we have to go no. right now. What? Stop. 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 To my Listen father. to me. You can't have done it. Are you fooling? Of course I didn't. I bet that's how he almost died. How did he die? It was the leader of his team. Yeah, me. yeah right. He executed everyone at the dig site. That's how he almost died. I tried to save your father, but I couldn't save him. And I... But you brought a killer right to him. Right? He shot me too. I was supposed to die that night. But I didn't die that night. That's when Conchie <laughs> saved him. That's the reason that we met. They're here. Try to warn you now, you're both gonna die in a tomb. There must be another way out. Go find it. I'll hold them off. Knowing that Count you was gone, you're a free man. You have a very important decision to make. He's just gonna get the guy close enough. Yeah, have a body block. Wow, that weapon's mean. Holy shit. Second shot. Yeah, of course. Second death. Those old bones can't hurt you. Do you notice anything unusual about that statue? Lunar god of the Aztecs. <laughs> no, but I'm just a lad trying to do my best. You're Dr. Stephen Grant. Now let's see what we can find on our friend here. B-22. Awesome. B-22. This is beautiful. Very impressive. Right, young man. Breaks around your favorite spot. All right, what exactly is happening? I came to the movie, oh. okay? It's been five times this week. Look at that. We won. This is a cool twist. I won. We have a winner. You do. We can't keep doing this. That's a cool touch. I took the liberty of borrowing the film you brought. <laughs> it was fun to see that my old VHS player still worked. I like the villain. The, the plot makes a real meal out of a lunar god. And didn't you say that you worked for one? This is all a pretty cool twist. And I have noticed, all right, in our sessions, a pattern developing. Every time I ask you direct questions, all right, many of us, when asked to look into our innermost experiences, I can't help you if you don't help yourself. You shot me. Mark, listen, I, I know. No, you stay away from me! But truly, I understand. It's a dude. Steven, is it? Steven! <laughs> okay. What's the last thing that you remember? Pharaoh shot me. Us. We gotta get out of here. Okay, they're like in an intermediary spiritual realm or something. Hi. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, that was puzzling at that last part of the episode. I think there must be in some sort of intermediary spiritual kind of realm. Obviously, uh, he got shot, so he's got to die. He doesn't have the powers, but maybe because he was uh, serving Konshu, then he's gone to this place. And obviously, in the in those different rooms, obviously, are going to be possibly other avatars and maybe other gods or something. I don't really know. Maybe other avatars, past avatars, uh, people that have died serving their avatar, something like that. But um, I'm guessing that that is going to be how they somehow get uh, to find a pathway to be able to free Konshu again or something like that. But it was definitely puzzling. It was kind of cool. You sort of think for a minute, it was the whole thing in his head. But uh, yeah, very cool. Um, definitely a bit of a slower moving episode in that you know, I needed to establish some story and a bit more uh, background about the, the ancient characters. And so there wasn't as much action stuff like that going on. And there definitely wasn't the Moon Knight. But um, still pretty cool. Um, interesting to see that interplay between Mark and Steven. Obviously, they're going to have to work together now and uh, get out of there whatever that means. I so can't wait for the next one just to see how it all fits together. Definitely an awesome series. Definitely enjoying it. Um, that's going to be it for me for now, guys, on this video. So as usual, please give this a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. Feel free to put your comments down below. And um, that's going to be it until the next one. So I'm out for now. Until the next one, take it easy.